Yo, what's up guys? It's Kevin Pack here. Welcome to the channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm a multiple six-figure Amazon business owner and I like helping people out on their entrepreneurship journey. Okay, let's talk about money and specifically profits. What are profit margins and what's a good profit margin to look for on your Amazon business? Before we go any further, let me show you guys my current sales so you guys know I'm a current Amazon seller. All right, here we go. It's about noon right now. Boom, there you go, full refresh right there. Done 15 sales today so far, a little over $350 in revenue. And in the last seven days, I've done over $5,800 in sales. And that's just one product that's in stock right now. Again, I have two more products that are not in stock right now and they're coming in in a few days. Um, so I'm waiting on those, but I'm really happy with my one product that's carrying me right now. If you haven't already, go ahead and smash that like button for me for the YouTube gods. Subscribe to my channel for more information and then also, Follow me on Instagram. I'm very active on my Instagram. You guys get the latest updates on there. So go ahead and check out my Instagram as well. Now, when we're looking for a product to sell on Amazon, the whole purpose is to find a product that is profitable so that we have money to take home. Typically in a business of any kind, they look at profit margin percentages and your profit margin percent is the percent off of your sales revenue. And this is after your expenses, like your major expenses, for example, cost of goods, shipping, fees, all that good stuff. Let's use a simple example and say in one week, your business made $1,000 in sales revenue. Now let's say that the Amazon fees are about $600 of that 1,000. So that means that's 60% of your sales revenue. In addition to that, you have to pay for the inventory as well. So that cost of goods, let's say that was $100, so that's another 10%. So in total, your expenses are gonna be 70% of your sales revenue, leaving you with just $300 left and $300 out of 1,000 is a 30% profit margin. Now for an Amazon business, what do we typically look for in a profit margin? And also, what do we include? Because profit margin is supposed to include expenses, but do we include all expenses? Do we include just the major ones or do we include the minimal ones? What's going on with that? When we're looking for a product, we wanna look for a product that has a minimum, bare minimum of a 30% profit margin for your average selling price. This is gonna be based off of just your major expenses, which is your Amazon fees, cost of goods, shipping, just those. We're not gonna include advertising or the small software fees. Ideally, we'd really want a product that's in the 40 and 50% profit margin range, but Realistically, let's go for at least bare minimum of 30% is what we're aiming for in a product. When we're analyzing and seeing if a product has at least 30% profit margins, we wanna make sure that we are leaving enough room to spend on advertising and softwares and other minimal fees because you don't know exactly what you're gonna be spending on your product until it's starting to run and everything. So we wanna just account for just the major ones and then if we have a 30% profit margin, then we have room to go down a little bit more. From what I've found and from my own experience, it really varies per product on how much your advertising spend is gonna be, but typically I see it's gonna be between five and 10% of your profit margin. Most Amazon businesses have a profit margin of 20%, and that's after everything. I'm talking about all expenses, we're talking about advertising, fees, shipping, cost of goods, uh, photography, everything out the bat, everything included, 20% profit margin. So because we wanna aim for that, we wanna make sure that we look for products that are starting off at least 30% so we can account for all those extra costs. And then at the end of the day, we'll see that we have about 20% in profit margin, bare minimum. So that's why if you even find a 40% or 50%, that's even better, that's gold, because you'll have a lot of profit afterwards. And you'll have a lot of room to spend for advertising and other expenses to improve your product that will scale your business long term. So now that we have a good understanding of what profit margin percentages are and what's a good percentage to aim for, let's hop into my computer and we'll check out how to actually calculate that. Okay, so we are on my computer right now and we're going to go through an example of how to calculate your profit margin percentage. So first off, one of the, there's two different ways. One of the method is gonna be using Helium 10 and the other method is going to be um, through the Amazon calculator itself. But the Amazon calculator, you actually need a Amazon seller account to actually use it. So uh, at least with the Helium 10, you don't need your account yet. So if you're just getting started, you can just use the Helium 10. Now for Helium 10 discounts and for access to Helium 10, link in the description. Uh, it is an affiliate link, but you get some discounts, so it's a win-win, all right? So let's get into this. So the product we're gonna use for this example is an animal repeller. If you guys all know, this is one of my failed products. So what we're gonna start off with is, first we're gonna look at the market. 
All right, we're gonna pull up the numbers really quick because we wanna know what is the average selling price, all right? We base this product, we wanna know what the selling price is, but we don't wanna base it off of the highest selling price or the lowest selling price. We wanna get an average. So this right here is the Helium 10 X-Ray Chrome extension, and this allows us to analyze a product market um, and see its sales revenue, uh, the reviews, and all that good stuff. So we see sales here, the revenue down here, and then if we scroll over a little bit, we see BSR and then also review count as well, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the average price, so it's about $33, all right? So $33, we already know what it is. And then on top of that, we're gonna look at what the product what the product actually is and what it looks like. So typically, they look like they're this um, ultrasonic type. So it looks like one of these, or one of these, or one of these. So we wanna look at products that are similar to that. Um, and they all look kind of similar. So we'll go on Alibaba, which is the website where we source products, and we're gonna find out how much each of these products cost, all right? So, boom, here we go. So on alibaba.com, this is where we find our suppliers where we source our products. I typed in Animal Repeller Ultrasonic, and now we find the similar products around here. So we got you know, $4, $2, 10 $15, our $45, to 10 okay very nice all right so now we know these are kind of the products so now we want to pick a product that we're going to compare to that we want to use as an example that we're going to sell so let's say out of these products we are going to source let's say like this one right here so we're gonna look for one that's very similar to this product. This is what we're gonna be looking for. It's selling for $32. Um, and now we're gonna look for the product that's similar to that, so which is like this. That looks, yeah, it looks pretty identical. So we see the selling price is between eight and $9. So we could take something that's in the middle of that. So we're just gonna say $9. And depending on how heavy the product is, we have to account for shipping as well. So let's scroll down. On this product if we scroll down we can see the actual weight of the product so it's about 12 ounces is less than a pound for sea shipping typically it's going to be about a dollar fifty for sea shipping per kilogram so a kilogram is about two pounds so this if this is almost one pound we're going to say it's half of that so it's about what 75 cents per unit so we're going to say it's nine dollars $9.75 to source this product, okay? So that's kind of our estimate. That's gonna be our estimate of how much it would cost. And that's that's me kind of highballing this. So there's two methods on the product listing itself that we can go through that's gonna be through Helium 10. First one is if we go to the Chrome extension right here, when we click on profitability calculator, this will pull up all the details of the product, okay? So the dimensions, the weight, and all that good stuff, the price. What we're gonna do is see where it says estimated freight cost. This is kind of like a general um, cost that they'll put on every product. I like to put this at zero so it doesn't mess up my calculations. And instead, I'm gonna put the estimated manufacturing cost, including the shipping. So what we said was $9.75. Now what we saw before was that the average selling price was about $33. So we're gonna put this at $33. And then boom, down here, we'll see below what our profit margin percentage is. So we're seeing 40%. So that's a healthy, healthy profit margin. And this is not even at the, the highest price yet. You know, the highest price I saw was like about $40. So if we put it at $40, you have a 48% profit margin. Let's see what kind of the lowest price is. So we're seeing uh, 40s, 30s, 45s, 24, 23. Okay, so it looks like the lowest one would be 23. So let's take a look at the 23. So let's say we sold this for $23. $23, we'd still make a 21% profit margin. So here's a little thing. If the lowest price that you could sell that at ends up being 30%, that's a really good sign. So let's say if this we sold this at $23 and our profit margin was still at 30%, that'd be a fantastic. But if the lowest selling price is at the 20s or 15s or whatever the case may be, if it's really low below 30, not a big deal. That's not what we're aiming for because that's not what we're gonna be selling it at the whole time. We're gonna start selling our product at a low price and then work our way up. So we, that's why we wanna compare it to the average price, which is $33 and we know it's 40%. 
that's well over 30%. So we know that profit margin of this product is very good. Now this is considering only the Amazon fees, cost of goods and the shipping, okay? This does not include PPC or anything like that. We're looking to aim for a 30% profit margin or above just based off our main, main fees and expenses, okay? So don't worry about Amazon PPC yet, just yet, because that's gonna be accounted for. This is what we're doing. We're putting it at 30% at least so that we have room to play with PPC because that's a variable that's changing all the time. You might not spend a lot, you might spend a lot. You can't really tell what it's gonna be until you actually do it. If we already knew the advertising cost and all expenses, I'd tell people, okay, minimum of 20%. But we, we don't know that yet. We just know the shipping cost, cost of goods, and then the Amazon fees, which are right here. So storage fees, FBA fee, referral fee. So that's all we're gonna base it off. Don't stress yourself out over all of these, these expenses and fees. Just focus on your profit margin being over 30%, at least just for based off of Amazon fees, cost of goods, and shipping as well. That's it. So this profitability calculator is just to show more details, but if you scroll down under the listing, you can see here, revenue calculator right here. So it'll give you the selling price, and then you could just type in the product cost, which is 9.75, the fees, and then this will only tell you the dollar amount of profit versus the profit margin here on the calculator is gonna actually give you the percentage. So the one on the listing is only gonna give you the dollar amount and the calculator itself will give you the percentage. And that's what we want. We wanna aim for the percentage, which is more important. The second way is I think is a much more accurate and better way of calculating your profit margin percentage. And that's on the Amazon calculator itself. So what we're gonna do is take the same listing, grab the ASIN at the top right here. We're going to paste it right here and then hit search boom so we already came up with the same exact product it tells you the weight of the product the dimensions and everything so now we're going to come up in here we're going to put the price here on amazon fulfillment because amazon's the one fulfilling our product not us we're just going to fill it out on the amazon side right here so we're selling the price at 33 dollars and then you don't have to put the ship to Amazon. We're just gonna put the cost of the product in total, including shipping, which is 9.75. Calculate that, boom. So we get a 40% profit margin. And then we'll know what our dollar amount profit as well. I like this calculator better is because they show the net profit in dollars and then the margin, and then they show a nice little graph here. So you can calculate also what your monthly uh, potential sales would be. So let's say you sold 300 of these a month, then you would make revenue of 9,900 and then your net profit would be 4,000. It's not, again, not including ads or anything like that. So this one is my favorite way of doing it. But if you don't have an Amazon account, then you're gonna have to go through the profitability calculator from Helium 10, all right? So that's how you figure out profit margin percentage starting off. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope you guys found it insightful as well. Of course, go ahead and check the link in the description for my Amazon Facebook group. It's free to enter. And then also my course if you want my mentorship to teach you how to sell on Amazon as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, all right? Peace.